Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the channel and today we are going back 5 years into the past to witness the best One UI custom ROM for our Galaxy S8, the Galaxy S8 Plus and the Galaxy Note 8. So without wasting any more time, let's take a look at it. So guys, this is the Hades ROM Q for our Galaxy S8, S8 Plus and the Note 8. So moving into about phone, as you can see, going to software info, One UI 2.5 with Android version 10 and you can see here hey, it's from Q1 UI 3, uh, 1 year version 3 so it's not 1 year 3, it's 1 year 2.5 version 3 uh, it's a version 3 of the ROM and you can see security patch level is 1 November 2021 so yes this is the third update and we have the 2021 uh, November security patch also guys I have installed a custom uh, kernel to make sure that I get like most of the battery so this is the RE0 or RZ kernel. If you have known, if you have installed it from XDA or anywhere, uh, you can get this on the one year 2.5 version. So yeah, if you want that, I have all the links in the description. You can also follow the guide to install everything. But yeah, let's talk about the one year 2.5 in 2025 right now. So guys, since the second half of 2024, we have got amazing custom ROM support for our Galaxy A6 series. Now, first we got the one UI 6.1.1 based on Android 14. Then this year, uh, at the beginning of this year, we got one UI 7 based on Android 15, which is the latest offering by Samsung. And it still hasn't reached a lot of its devices. So it's a very sad thing by Samsung, but I hope Samsung does something about this. And by the time this video comes out, uh, by the end of April or beginning of May, then Samsung might have already pushed a lot of updates. So I just hope that because it is big of a delay, but let's not talk about that. Here we are going to revisit the One UI 2.5. And why I thought of revisiting because I have already used One UI 6.1.1 and One UI 7. Like it is really great to experience it. The latest uh, offering from Samsung in 2025, but still people were not happy like they had a lot of bugs. I mean, yeah, in in a point of view of a normal user, obviously you expect something, you know, even like Samsung is not providing you regular updates. So you expect something from a person who is like having his own time and he's uh, contributing his own time, is doing hard work and bringing us a lot of custom drums. So asking for ETAs and, you know, constantly doing that. It is not a very good option. And guys, bugs is okay. Like you're getting something that even Samsung cannot provide you. And some person which you don't know about is providing you for free, like when you have 6.1 ROMs, when you have 7 ROMs, and you are getting everything for free, the latest stuff. Like you should not complain actually. So that's why I thought, let's go back and let's give people what they want, a fully stable ROM, which is One UI 2.5. And I will point out the positives over the latest offerings, which I really like about this ROM. So people will also just go back, jump back. So if you want something stable, you have to go back. That's the reason I made the video. So let's see what we can explore in that. So guys, a lot of people complain about the lag and the stuff on Galaxy S8. Obviously, it's an old device, but as you can see, if you install the One year 2.5, it is totally lag-free. Like, you can give life back to your Galaxy S8. I know a lot of people are using Hades ROM still, and a big thumbs up for you guys. But if you install the RZ kernel, you'll also get a better battery life, which I have started experiencing right now. So it is really amazing. Like, I was really hesitant to install custom kernels on like heads i thought heads kernel is the best but for battery efficiency this is best because i don't like a lot of uh, like gaming on the phone so yeah as you can see these are the apps that i have on this phone obviously this is not my primary device but yes i use it for instagram managing my youtube account and spotify listening to songs and just some basic stuff so it is really well uh like for me then uh, moving into settings you can see this is a settings ui and like looking at this ui does not feel like we are getting you know something really old like the android settings ui is just simple in android 15 too and here we get some colorful icons and you can see the segregation of uh, various things like android 15 has done right now or android 14 has done that 
we are getting this in Android 10 in Samsung. So this is also a really nice thing you can see. The Samsung UI is so, so futuristic, even in 20, uh, like I don't know the year, but even when using Android 10, it feels like we are using something uh, which is latest. Now looking at the quick settings, as you can see, this is the quick settings panel and we don't see anything bad about it. Like you can see we get full dark mode option and uh, we don't have that uh, transparency which looks really bad to me. Like even if you turn on dark mode, it appears it is a transparent uh, option. Like you cannot configure that, but this looks really nice on my AMOLED device. So if you have an AMOLED device, AMOLED Samsung, obviously almost all Samsungs are AMOLED. There are very less LCD devices which are really low budget and low priced. But yes, this looks better than One UI 7. I'm really sure a lot of people will agree. And a lot of people will also blame me to not compare something which is five years of a difference. But yeah, this is what I like. The dark mode should fu be fully dark. Like if you're giving AMOLED screens to almost 80% of your devices, then you must provide this option to completely dark out the background in dark mode and not keep it transparent and just add some blurring options to make it look like aesthetic or something but yeah this is what i like plain and simple black so guys now one possible thing in the latest offerings by samsung is that in the app drawer or even in the recent apps we get the blur option now i'm not sure if this is blur or this is just uh, the transparency adjusted but you can see if you're on the app screen and if you open uh, edge panel you get blur here and the blur level is really nice which makes your edge panel stand out so yeah this is what i like about uh the blur effect given in this and i hope it is also uh given in the recent panel i'm not sure if it is blur or if it is just the transparency has been adjusted so yeah that's what i miss about one ui 7 where you get uh blur a lot like in a lot of places now guys, talking about the most important topic, which is, uh, you know, always going in mind of the users with stability and performance. Now for the stability, this ROM is totally stable. This ROM has reached its final stages four to five years back. So there is no need of worrying about stability and issues. Also, if you install custom kernel based on what you want, if you want performance, like a bit more battery efficient, then you can install the rx0 kernel or the rz kernel and the stock kernel is also great i mean for performance the head is heads rom kernel default kernel is great but for me battery efficiency matters so i have installed the rx0 kernel and it's not that much of a difference but yeah if you want to just stretch out a bit of your battery if you're not using your asset a lot then yeah that a uh, bit of a difference that matters a lot and talking about the battery that's going to uh, battery, I have installed a Chinese smart manager or maybe this is the international, I'm not sure. Uh, it's been a lot of days I have installed this. So if you go into this uh, battery manager, you can see uh, here, I have this uh, battery usage. I have uh, uh, noticed, uh, I mean, you can guys can calculate and correct me if I'm wrong, but yeah. I have noticed that this phone will last for me about on 100% uh, charge usage uh, on heads kernel, the default kernel, which I have used. And it has given me two to two and a half hours of screen on time on an average speaking. And I've used this phone for about one and a half days, like almost uh, nine to 10 hours of the sleep time. This device has been going through another time, other time. Uh, in the daytime or in the afternoon or evening, it has been on sleep for a lot of time. But yes, in the morning I use it, in the night I use it. So yeah, that's a rough use, normal use, not a rough usage, usage on this device. And still it gets really nice for me, two and a half hours of screen on time, enough for me. Now after installing the RZ kernel, the max I get was three hours, uh, but I don't have the graph, it was way back. And I get around two and a half hours of average and minimum I got was one and a half hours and not exactly one and a half. It was very uh, less than one and a half, like one hours and 15 or 20 minutes. 
so it was i don't know why i got that much lower screen on time on that time but yeah i was really worried but then yeah after a full charge it was normal giving me two and a half hours to three hours of screen on time with a one day and a half usage so yeah with the normal usage this is really brilliant even in uh like after eight years this is totally amazing battery performance and i use this phone for day-to-day tasks managing my youtube account instagram account spotify and normal youtube videos and uh, this is like really great uh, at this like in 2025 it's not like something really great amazing or something like that but samsung's uh, the assets battery life the screen on time that i got even when i bought this device was max to max 4 and or like 4 hours or something like that so considering that this is brilliant and guys i found no bugs in this rom like everything is working you can see vo lte vo wi-fi then we have the camera working we have the samsung camera we have the video and we have this modes everything works fine the selfie camera so there are no uh, such issues oops regarding the camera so you don't have to worry that these things will not work and this will work so it's not the part uh with the uh heads wrong now before we end the video let's take a look at the settings quickly like why not just adding it to it so first is connections and you can see we have all these options and i really love how the options are separated like wi-fi bluetooth and fc then mobile network stuff and then more connections and flight mode has a separate uh i have what that separate bar to enable and you can see we have all these uh, options in here then sound and vibrations and you can see how the ui has been segregated into different parts which i really like and yes you guys have have already you know checked all the settings so i'm just giving you an overview you can see at screen navigation bar you can also use the buttons uh lock screen you can see screen lock that you can set screen lock you have iris uh, scanner also uh, you have fingerprint sensor also working and intelligent scan does not work so don't try to use that that's uh, if you want to you know add a bug list then you can add that bug to it you can see we have video and answer dual messenger a lot of samsung stuff from that uh, uh, you can see and yeah this is the about phone so that's what all you get in the heads rom and like obviously it's an old uh, old rom so everyone might have used it if you have any galaxy set and if you are a custom rom user so guys that is it for the revisit video on the galaxy s8 series and this video concludes that if you want a fully stable rom like everyone is asking for then you have to go back five years into the past install the heads rom q and enjoy the fluid experience on the galaxy s8 now a lot of people have been asking about the bugs fix and a lot of stuff to be improved on the latest offerings but see guys if you're asking eta once or if it's just a progress status once it's great but if you're asking it again and again to the developers it's really annoying and these guys they are doing everything for free uh in their free time or making out some time to contribute towards the device so it's really a bad behavior if you start just asking and spamming for ETAs and asking like new updates when it is coming is it coming and annoying the developers so it's not a good idea instead you can go back five years enjoy the hate skew rom and get the stability like i have already mentioned all the positives in this video about the hate rom the battery life the ui everything is really nice you get it fully rebooted so also the camera vld wi-fi everything is working fine you just you know go back install this and stay peacefully if a new update comes on any of the latest offerings by samsung the one year seven i will obviously update you guys and tell you all the uh bug fixes the issues that have been resolved and yeah we'll provide you with the installation till then you can enjoy this and yep that's it i hope you guys like the video if yes press the like button if not the dislike button is there also you can subscribe to the channel for more such videos on the galaxy s8 series and See you guys soon. Till then, bye-bye.